Hey guys, so Darren Daly is doing a series on the power of persuasion. So each day he's been teaching um, three strategies in the in the art of persuasion. And he says to think about it, persuasion is is different from manipulation as persuasion is there's a positive benefit for both people involved and manipulation is where there's only one positive. So I wanted to sort of teach you on the first one and then um, think us think about it as a team too. So the first one he talks about is logic and reason, okay? So he said, persuasion is helping people come to the most logical conclusion which just happens to be something you share. So it's helping people come to the most logical conclusion. He said, so you often do this in the form of questioning. So I thought about this from a product side. So I want to share with you some good questions that, I, that I've come up with to help you talk someone through the art of, I actually do need the products that you're trying to sell me. And then as a team, I want us to comment below here and come up with questions that we can use to help persuade someone that they do want to be part of our business. So let's let me give you an example. Okay. So logical questions. So asking people, so do you have a skincare concern already? Okay, so clearly if they're reaching out to you, they probably typically do. Are you seeing results from what you're currently using? Because if they are, then they're off the table anyway. Okay, so what we're doing is we're just trying to direct their brain into thinking logically about why they need the product. So, so do you have a skincare concern already? Are you seeing results from what you're currently using? Do you believe investing in your skin to get the best results you want? Do you So do you believe you have to invest in your skin to get the results you really want? Would you say you want um, to improve your skin, but there's so many products out there that it often just gets really confusing? Would having a simple four-step solution help you out? And so that's sort of where then you have the sale. So you don't have to use all these questions. You don't even have to go in this order. But start thinking about questions that that the clear answer is yes to, like, or I need the products. So think about why people need our products, then step back and go, how can I ask that in a question form? To direct, it's almost like a roadmap. I, I think about in my brain like, um, like Pac-Man, where, you know, you've got all these and you've got to find the way out. And so what you're doing is logically trying to guide them to where there's an exit to get out. Um, okay, so that is the power of logic and reasoning. So what I want you to do is think about, let's flip side. If you were talking to someone about the business, what are logical questions that we could ask to help guide them to the right to guide them into going, I do need to be a part of this. This would really help me. So I'm going to post the actual Darren Daily down in the comments if you want to listen to it. Um, it I had to listen to it three times um, to really take it all in. And then um, comment below some great ways that we could question, use questioning to help close our businesses, um, to get business partners, and then try out on people, potential people who want the products, try out this questioning. And let's talk about it, see how it works. All right, bye guys.